My name is David Ruggiero, and I grew up in Brooklyn. It's a tough town, but it has a lot of great people with a million stories. Take me, for example. Believe it or not, I was a pro boxer for a while, but I decided to trade in my gloves for a set of oven mitts. My Nona thought it'd be a little easier on my face. She also taught me that no matter who you meet or where you go, there's always one thing people can agree on. You can't have good times without good food. You know what I mean? Are you excited today? Uh, I'm David Ruggiero, and welcome to Ruggiero To Go. You know, I got to tell you something. People think, because I'm a fancy schmancy chef, you know, fancy schmancy, that I, all I eat is fancy food and gourmet food. Well, forget about it. You know, don't you ever have a craving for like, uh, for like a pastrami sandwich? Yeah. You thought because the name Ruggiero To Go, you only eat Italian. Forget it. Sometimes I, gotta, I eat other kind of food. Well, I tell you what. I'm just dying for one right now. So you guys stay where you are. I'm gonna go get one because I, I gotta have one right now, all right? All right, don't go nowhere. And don't worry about it, all right? Don't get nervous, I'll be back. <laughs> Where's Katz's Deli? This is unbelievable. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Where's Katz's Deli? I don't know. Katz's Deli, where's Katz's Deli? Where is Katz's Deli here? The best pastrami, unbelievable. Where are we going here? Where Hey, here we are. Here's Katz's Deli. This is pastrami. I think Katz is a New York institution because you get entertained here, too, with some of the characters, not only the people, the famous people that come here, but oh, justly so is the fam famous people behind the counter. Hey, Robert. Hey. How you doing? Okay, fine. How's everything? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. How's the pastrami? It won't kill you. It won't kill me? My friend Robert is an original. You go anywhere in America, you ain't gonna find a guy like Robert. But I'm gonna sit down at a table. I'm gonna what order table? for I gotta act civilized. There's no tables here. They're all taken. Did you make a reservation? I, I didn't make a reservation. Right, I'm gonna sit at a table. You make me a pastrami sandwich, please. All right, no problem. Nice mustard. Beautiful. Mustard. You old enough to eat the sandwich? Yeah. And you old enough to put on your own mustard. I'm not doing it. All right, I put on my own mustard. Katz's was opened in 1888. Well, we still use the same recipes that we've used 110 years ago. We make all our, most of our own products. So hot dogs, salamis, corned beef, pastrami. Well, I tell you what, all these, I came here for pastrami, but all these great things, there's, there's chopped liver, there's pastrami, there's corned beef, matzo ball soup. I mean, Excuse me, sir, can I? Okay. Well, you know, it's funny. The old guidebooks used to say that the waiters and waitresses are, are the rude New Yorkers. I, I think I have them. I came in for the pastrami. I have the pastrami, but I want to warm. I can't go by what you think. It's what you want. All right. Come on, pastrami or corned beef. What would you like? Uh, that's really not true anymore. I'll, I'll have the pastrami. Then. All right. And what would you like to go with that? Uh, how about the egg cream? Oh, no, you got to have fries. I got to have fries? You got to have fries. Yeah. I, just, I don't yeah. like fries. Well, you really don't have an option. I'm just All right, right, right down the fries. Okay. And listen, I want an egg cream. Don't forget the egg cream. But yeah, I'll see if we can find yeah. some. I really don't have time right. for egg cream. Give me the egg cream. Okay, thank you. Bye. <sighs> Alan, this is like the Hall of Fame here. Uh, all the famous people come here. This, well, the only other place that has a gallery like this is the post office. <laughs> mm. Tell me some of your favorites here. My favorite, actually, which is he's not the most famous, is Soupy Sales. Yeah, yeah. you didn't send him a dollar. No, you? I didn't. <laughs> I knew better. I knew better. <laughs> there you have Harry Houdini, who used to come in the early uh, 1900s. This is the best pastrami in New York. Mm. Let's see. Well, you got Jerry Lewis, Law and Order. Law and Order. How about Jackie Mason? You got Jackie, Jackie Mason. Mason. <laughs> when he's dying for pastrami, he comes down here. That tastes good, right? It's the best. It's the best, right? Almost as good as sex. Well, probably the, the most funny or the most notorious is the Harry Met Sally scene. Once in a while, we'll get some customers that come in. They'll sit at that table and recreate the scene. <laughs> She's happy. And then I see Bill Clinton, President Clinton. Tell America, what does Bill Clinton eat? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, he can eat, boy. He had two hot dogs, a giant pastrami sandwich, an order of fries, a diet ginger ale, <laughs> and a cup of coffee. And, he, and after he was finished, he was picking off the Secret Serviceman's plates. Holy smoke. Bill, go on a diet, will you please? It's, uh, it's low, low fat. It's fat free. Yeah. Dom de Louise, Dom, one of my favorites. Dom de, 
<laughs> he's nuts, Don DeLuise. No, he's not Tom. Huh? He's always on stage, and boy, he, I think Clinton can eat. He can eat. Here you go, sir. Where's the fries? Fries? And the egg cream. Oh, you gotta give me time. Here it comes. Just keep your shirt on. I'll be back. What am I gonna do over here? I gotta wait for the fries. Oh, my God. Send the salami in your boy in your army. That started in World War II. Mothers used to send them salami. Make instant friends. I mean, I grew up Italian, but what I love is Jewish food. I mean, there's so many similarities between a Jewish grandmother and an Italian grandmother. They both, whenever you're sick, you fall down. You, you get hurt, you scrape your knee, you fall off the back of a truck. They tell you, eat this, you're gonna feel better. You want mustard on this one? Mustard. If you come here to eat a sandwich, you're not gonna have a sandwich, you're gonna have a mountain. This is living, I tell you, delicious. All over the world they come here. And they're not really tourists, they're tourists. Because what they do with sandwiches, forget about it. Give me mayonnaise, I'm pastrami. Sometimes you lose your appetite. Robert knows everything there is to know about pastrami. I even wonder sometimes he doesn't go to sleep with a pastrami sometimes. We're the only ones that really cook the pastrami in water, cut it by hand. And it tastes much better, it's more juicier. And uh, that's the whole story of a pastrami. Well, that hit the spot. When you guys come back after commercial, we're gonna cook some outrageous deli food. So you guys stay tuned.